What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because we are doing a full face testing a bunch of new makeup. Always at the beginning of the year, every brand just like spits out so many products. So I have a full face of new stuff to test out. We have the new NARS foundation, new Rare Beauty, new ColourPop, new Too Faced, like a bunch of different things. So I'm really, really excited to test everything together today. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, up first we're gonna go in with a new primer from Benefit. This is the Benefit Porefessional Light Primer. I feel like Benefit does with the Porefessional what Urban Decay does with like the Naked palette. Like they just keep making more. But I do like the Porefessional Original Primer. Um, so this is the new Light Primer. So basically, it's supposed to be super lightweight on the skin and it's really supposed to blur and fill in the pores. So let's see. I don't remember thinking that the original Porefessional was like super heavy, but I'm interested to see how this one works. I love primers that like fill in my pores. So it's just kind of like clear little balm looking thing. I think it did say that this doesn't have any silicone in it though. Ooh. Okay, it actually does have a completely different texture than the original Porefessional. Like it turns almost into just like a gel and it feels really cooling on the skin. So I'm just kind of patting it in where I have like enlarged pores, which for me is right in here. And I do feel like that actually really did blur. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more on my forehead because I do have some large pores there too. If you see like when I put it on, it just like instantly blurs that area. Okay, honestly, I was skeptical that this was gonna really be any different and they were just trying to like, you know, reinvent the wheel or whatever the saying is and you know, come out with another Porefessional product, but this is actually really nice. Feels nice and cooling and actually like hydrating on the skin where the original Porefessional didn't give you that. It was just basically filled in the pores. It feels really light and I think it did do a good job of blurring and filling where I have like pores and texture. So I actually really like that. And we'll definitely continue to use this. Okay, up next, I'm really excited because NARS came out with a new foundation and a lot of people have been hyping this up like that. It's really, really good. So I'm excited to see. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation. It sounds like something that would be right up my alley. It's basically supposed to give your skin a medium coverage. It's a natural finish, which is what I typically like. So it's not gonna be super dewy, but it's also not gonna be super matte either, just kind of right in between. What's most interesting about it is it's supposed to be a makeup skincare hybrid. So while this is a makeup, like a foundation, it's supposed to blur and perfect your skin. In. It's supposed to visibly improve your skin's clarity over time. So obviously that's not something we can test in a first impressions, but definitely something that I thought was cool about this. So I have this in shade Fiji L5. So it does say to shake it well. So I'm gonna shake it on up and we're gonna go in with this. Has a little pump on the top. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna do one side with a sponge, one side with a brush, and we'll see how it applies best. That is about a pump and a half. So I'm gonna kind of spread it with my finger a little bit. I've been liking doing this technique, like kind of spreading out my foundation with my finger and then going in with either my sponge or brush. And I feel like it gives a nice finish. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge on this side, which is typically how I prefer to apply my foundations. Ooh. This actually looks really nice. That blended out so easily. Like that literally took like five seconds with this sponge to just blend and morph into my skin. I also feel like the color changed a little bit because when I first put it on, I was like, ooh, I think this is gonna be a little light. Oh, I got some of my hair there. But then I feel like once I blended it out, it literally just like morphed into my skin and is a really good shade match. That looks really, really pretty. Wow, all right. Let's go in on the other side. I'm gonna do that same technique, kind of spread with my finger, and then gonna use a brush to just go in and buff it out. Typically with a brush, it'll provide a little bit more coverage than a sponge will. I just typically find it takes longer to blend out with a sponge, but with some foundations, it does give a better end result. But I liked the way this side blended out with the sponge. It was super easy. Okay, I would say the side with the brush gave a little bit more coverage, but it's really not that significant. I would say they're pretty similar, so you can apply it either way. This foundation looks and feels absolutely beautiful on the skin. Like I really am blown away. I know there's there's a lot of NARS foundations out there and a lot of people really love their foundations. I've never found one that I really, really loved from NARS that was like a daily staple for me. But now when I tried this, I was like, whoa, like it's really, really pretty. I'm filming this a bit later in the day today. It's already 4.30 in the afternoon. So I am going to wear this again tomorrow and that'll be before this video goes up anyway. So I will update the description box after a full day of wear to how it wears on the skin. But first impression of this is that it is absolutely beautiful. 
Like I really, really like this. All right, up next for concealer, I do not have a new concealer. So I figured that we would give the Jaclyn Cosmetics concealer another whirl. I did say in my review when I reviewed this, cause it did not work for me with her skin tint. They just didn't work together for me that I wanted to try it out in a different video with a different foundation to see if it would work with a actual foundation, not like a skin tint because her skin tint was almost like a balmy consistency. So I felt as though the consistencies were just not going together. So I wanted to try it out with a different foundation to see if that would work better. This foundation is not completely matte. The concealer is very, very matte, but it's not super glowy and doesn't have like a balmy consistency. It has a typical foundation consistency. So I'm interested to see if this works a bit better with something like that. So I'm gonna try it again, just because I don't have anything new to try. So I figured I would update you guys on it. So I'm using shade Light Peach. I'm gonna go in one eye at a time because this does dry fast. I'm not gonna use too much. For me at least, that's a little bit. I'm gonna immediately just go in and blend it because with this concealer, you definitely want to blend fast because it's very matte and it dries down quickly. Okay, I actually, I'm surprised because I just really wasn't sure if this was gonna work with anything, but it's actually yielding better results. I still don't love the concealer. It wouldn't be one that I would recommend that you go out and buy just to be completely transparent and honest with you guys but it does work much better with an actual foundation product. Let me go in on the other eye. So I am glad that I tried it this way. For anyone that did purchase this, this is how I would tell you to best apply it with a regular foundation, not necessarily with the skin tint that it was launched with, because I couldn't even really get it to work at all with that, where with this, it does work and it's not separating like it was doing with the skin tint. Wanted to test that again, because I told you guys that I would, so. All right, up next we have new Rare Beauty. They came out with these contour sticks. So I have this one in shade Happy Soul. Just looks like this. And I'm gonna go in and contour out my cheeks. They also have new blushes, so we're gonna try them as well, but I'm gonna do my contour first. I'm gonna start by just drawing it on, okay? Feels really creamy. I'm gonna just go in with a beauty sponge and blend upwards. Oh wow, this blends super easily, which I like. Like that took like 10 seconds and it just like completely morphed into my skin and like gave me that natural kind of contour, okay? So Lena, I think you're up to something. I'm gonna try with a brush now on the other side and see, and just kind of paint some onto the brush. I think with products like this, honestly, it works better if you just apply to the face and then blend with like a sponge, but we'll go in with a brush and see. Just kind of stipple it on. This definitely works too. Gives a little bit more of like a diffused look, but this method also works with it. I like that a lot because it's not picking up the foundation underneath. It's just kind of morphing into it. Cause that's always the problem that I'll have with some cream contours is that they like, pick up the foundation underneath and that's what would then cause them to look patchy. But this one blended really, really nicely. So, I mean, I can't say I'm surprised. Rare Beauty, I feel like everything they launch is really good in my experience, but this product definitely worked really well. We, we are good on our complexion today. Definitely really like this. All right, let's try out some of these new blushes. So they've had these blushes. These are the soft pinch liquid blushes, but they came out with some new shades. So I'm gonna take a look at them and see which ones would work best. Okay, we have Hope, which this one is like a pink. Ooh, okay, I need that in like a liquid lipstick because I love that shade. That's really pretty. It's like my favorite kind of lipstick shade. We have Encourage right there, a little bit more like a mauve And then we have Believe, which is the deepest of the three. Really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna go in with the more pink one. I think on my skin tone, that'll probably work best, but love the versatility. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna do three dots. I can't remember if these are like really sheer or not. I think they're pretty full coverage. I'm gonna go in with my sponge and blend, or not full coverage, but like opaque. Yeah, like they have a lot of color to them and just kind of blend that in. Oh yeah, you definitely probably only need like two little dots, maybe even one, but that is really, really pretty. I like that shade. I just personally love when cream products like blend out super easily and these both the blush and the contour really did you know like it doesn't take a long time and they really diffuse and blend nicely so that looks really pretty let's try with a brush on the other side i did three dots just so they match because i did three dots on the other side because i don't want one side with more blush but you don't need this much you can definitely get away with less of this product i'm just blending with a brush the brush definitely gives you a little bit more full pigment like if you see this side looks a little bit brighter this side's a little more diffused with the sponge so it really is a matter of personal preference. I think it applies nicely either way. Really, really pretty. I love the shade too. I think it's really nice. Okay, now for powder. I have two different powders I want to try. ColourPop came out with a pretty fresh powder foundation. So I want to, ooh, <laughs> I'm like throwing it already. Um, I wanna use this to set all over the face because a lot of times I like to use powder foundations to set liquid foundations. So I have shade medium 10 here. So I wanna try this to set all over the face, but Rare Beauty also came out with a new setting powder. This is always an optimist 
this soft radiance setting powder so and this is in shade light so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one to set my under eyes and then I'll use the color pop pretty fresh to set all over my face so this is what it looks like. Nice packaging. Ooh, yes. Okay, love when they have the sifter that stays in and it's not just something that you throw out because then once you put this in your drawer or in your bag or wherever, it's not gonna like explode inside the cap. So love that. Thank you, Rare Beauty. I'm gonna be honest, my under eyes feel pretty dry from the concealer. So I'm a little nervous to then now go in with powder, but we're gonna see. Um, shade light is like a salmony kind of color. So it actually would be good for the under eyes because that helps to color correct darkness. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit on my brush and tap it on in to set. I'm gonna do it on the eyelid too. Ooh, I like the brightness that it's giving me that I feel like it instantly brightened up the under eye. Let's do a little bit more on the other side. I'm gonna go in like this. Definitely like the brightness that it gives. I'm just struggling with if it feels drying just because again, my under eyes already felt pretty dry. So of course, putting powder on top does not help that. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this to the center plane of my face as well. So we can see. Just kind of going in here and setting everything down. It has like a very, very, very slight scent to it, but nothing like overbearing. Okay, it's not feeling super tight on the rest of my face. So I think it was just more so the concealer. And I know with that concealer, Jacqueline said you don't actually even need to set it because it is so mattifying. But again, obviously I did want to try this powder, but I definitely like the brightness that it gave to my under eyes. And you can really see on my chin, I have a lot of texture on my chin and it did like do a good job of blurring that out. So I definitely think this is a nice powder. I would say the bronzer is probably my favorite part of the new collection, but the powder is really nice too. Now, like I said, I do want to try the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop Powder Foundation. So I'm going to go in with this again, shade medium 10. And I forgot that there's a new Rare Beauty powder brush. So I'm going to use this with the ColourPop. <laughs> because I didn't use it to set my under eyes. Um, it's a little too big for that anyways. This is more meant for all over the face. So I'm gonna use it with this and see how this looks to set down the rest of our face. And this comes in a ton of different shades, which is incredible. And it's affordable because it's ColourPop. Ooh, it actually looks really nice. That powder feels super comfortable on the skin. It just really like set down, but didn't make me like super, super matte or dried out feeling or anything like that. It just kind of set the makeup and blurred the skin a little bit and added a little bit extra coverage because it is a powder foundation. So it can be used on its own or it can be used to set liquid products, but definitely feels really comfortable on the skin. So I like that a lot. And it's $14 too, which is great. I do have an affiliate code with ColourPop. It's code Kelly. So you can use that for an additional 10% off if you would like to do so, but definitely think this looked nice on the skin and paired nicely with the NARS foundation because this is more of like a natural finish powder as well. It's not super, super mattifying. Okay, I'm gonna jump in real quick and just do my eyebrows before we go in on our eyes. I'm just using the CoverGirl Micro Brow. I don't have anything new for my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna fill these in real quick. I have not tinted my brows in a long time, so they're like in desperate need. I feel like they're translucent, but nothing a little eyebrow pencil can't fix. All right, brows are done. I went ahead and zoomed you guys in because we are going to get started on our eyes. I have been wanting to try this palette for a couple months now. I think this launched in early December or maybe November, but this is the Tartlet Full Bloom. It looks so pretty. Like y'all know I love my neutrals. And this is just basically like a jumbo palette of pretty much any neutral you could want. So I'm really, really excited to try this out today. It comes with 28 different shades, a mix of mattes and shimmers. So I'm gonna go in with this today. I'm gonna start by going with shade Witty. This palette also has a really big mirror, which is nice. You can really like get up close and see what you're doing. So I'm just gonna work that into the crease. This shade is more of like a cool tone, but then there are also a lot of warm tone shades in this too. So it kind of has both cool and warm. Like this side over here is more cool and then more warm over here. So I'm just gonna buff and blend this into the crease. Up next, I'm gonna jump in with Garden. This one's a bit deeper, but still also a matte. And I'm going to put that in the crease and just buff that in. I'm kind of feeling like a little bit of a smoky eye today. It's like cold and dark outside now, so. I'm thinking smoky vibes. Also, I'm using a brush from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Honestly, her brushes are so good. Like, I don't know why more people don't talk about them. I mean, I have seen people talk about them, but they're really, really good. They are so soft and really nice quality. I'm like really impressed. I've been loving them. Even the foundation brush that I used before was also Laura Lee Los Angeles and is really, really nice. So if you're in the market for some new brushes, I definitely really like them. I can like feel the difference between this brush and the brush I was using before. This one's so much softer. Okay, now I'm gonna go with Grow, which is the deepest shade in the palette. This is like a super 
dark brown and I'm going to kind of like pack it on the lid but I'm going with like a fluffier brush to do this and then I'm going to kind of buff it upwards. I hope I don't regret this because this looks really really dark like almost basically like a black but I'm going to kind of go in and then diffuse it upwards into the crease. I've been trying to experiment with like different techniques of like doing my eyeshadow and I tried this the other day and it worked decently well to do like a deeper, darker, smoky eye. And I'm gonna go in with like a lighter shimmer on top. So I just kind of want like a wash of color, which is why I'm using this fluffier brush and just kind of buffing and pressing. Okay, now that we got nice, deep and dark, I wanna go in with this shade Eye Catching. It's like a pretty shimmer. I think I'm just gonna use my finger for this. It's kind of like a pewter and I'm going to tap it on top of that dark eyeshadow all over the lid. This is really pretty. I feel like this is a very like New Year's Eve-y kind of look, but you could definitely probably do this for Valentine's Day too. Like if you wanna do like a smoky kind of sultry eye, it could go for that also. And then I'm just going in with a flat brush in the areas I could not get with my finger and applying there. I did get a little fallout with that, so I'm just dusting it away, but nothing crazy. Then I'm gonna go in with that same dark shade and I'm gonna buff it out on the lower lash line as well. We are just going super smoky today. But I feel like that's something that I like about this palette is you can create this dark kind of smoky eye look like I'm doing right now that's like more intense, but you could definitely also do super pretty, super light, easy everyday looks. There's so many different shades in here. So you could definitely do day, night, and a lot in between. I'm gonna mix these two shades together right here to make like a really light highlight. There's not a super light shimmer highlight in this palette, so I'm kind of like making my own. I'm gonna pop that right beneath the brow bone and bring it into the inner corner just to open up that area. Okay, I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, popped on some lashes. Honestly, I don't really love these. I feel like they're like, tilting downwards, but we're gonna roll with it and finish off the face. I'm gonna jump in with bronzer real quick. I don't have a new one, so I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Donut Bronzer. This smells so good, it looks so pretty. We already contoured and stuff, so I'm just gonna use this to bronze up the face a little bit. Alrighty, so we obviously still can totally see the Rare Beauty Cream Blush and could totally be left on its own, but I did wanna try this new Too Faced Too Femme Blush. This is from their new like Too Femme collection. The blush looks really, really pretty. I swatched it and it looks beautiful, so I'm gonna go in with this on my cheeks it like had a really nice shimmer to it. I actually love blushes that are shimmery, but not blushes that have like chunky glitter in them. And this one seemed like it was like right kind of up my alley. So I'm gonna go in. Ooh, it also smells so good. This whole collection, there's an eyeshadow palette as well, like has the same scent. I can't pinpoint what exactly it is, but it smells really, really nice. And if you see, this blush just has a pretty sheen to it. Like it's not like chunks of glitter, like it's just like a really pretty glow that it gives to the cheeks. So I personally love that. If you like like more matte blushes, probably not gonna be the blush for you, but for me, I love it. We have so much blush on and I'm living for it. <laughs> A little on my nose as well. For highlight, I want to try out this new one. This is from ColourPop. This is from one of their newer collections. This is the Starlight Shimmering Body Powder. So you can use these on your body, but you can also use them as a traditional highlight on your face as well. And this shade looks really, really pretty. Do a little swatch like, yes. Ooh, and this smells really nice too. It kind of smells like coconutty. So I'm going to go in with this on my cheeks. Ooh, I really, really like this. It's interesting because it looks so like tan in the pan, but once you get it on, it really does have like a pretty kind of rosiness to it too. And it looks really nice mixed with that blush and like the pinky kind of tones. That's really pretty. And bring it down the nose as well. And like I said, this can be used on your body too if you want like a glow and it's gonna make you smell really nice because it smells really good. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna just jump in with a lip liner. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk real quick to line my lips before we go in with some new lip products. Okay, so first I wanna go in also from the Too Faced Too Femme collection. This is their Heartcore lipsticks. So these are supposed to be like lipsticks, but kind of like lip balmy and like really hydrating to the lips. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Never Grow Up. Oh, this is so cute. So it looks like a little heart, like the packaging. And then when you open it, it has a little heart on it. That's pretty. All right, let's go in. Ooh. Same scent on the lip product, so I like that. Ooh, this one's pretty, I like this. It's very creamy and a nice little pinky tone to it. I feel like this actually is like a Valentine's Day kind of-esque look. I like this, like it still has a lot of color, but it literally feels like a lip balm, but it has the opaqueness of like a lipstick and it feels very creamy and nice on the lips. You definitely don't need a gloss with this, but I do wanna try the new Fenty Gloss Balm Heat. So this is supposed to be a dupe for that viral like Tom Ford lip balm. You guys might've seen it on TikTok. It's like really expensive, I think it's like 50, 
$28 or something like that. And it has like all this glitter on it. But apparently this new Fenty gloss bomb is supposed to look super similar. This is in the shade Lemon Lava. So it's new. This is one of the gloss bomb heats. So they also are plumping. I actually really like them like the formula, but I never tried this shade. So let's go in and apply. I haven't tried the Tom Ford one because I'm just like not about to spend $58 on a lip balm, but this one does look really pretty. And what I like about these is they're not like super stinging to your lips. They give you a little plump, nothing crazy. I like the glossy kind of juicy look that they give to my lips more than anything else. And I do think this looks really nice. All right, you guys, so that is everything. Let me know what you guys think down below. I feel like overall, we tried a lot of really good products, especially the complexion, like this new NARS foundation. I have my fingers crossed. Obviously it's dark out now. I'll continue to wear it tonight, but I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow. And so check the description box for an update on this, on how it wears. But I feel like my complexion looks really nice like everything came together really well. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll have everything linked down below if you wanna check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.